which are the main factors to turn innovation into action? First of all, most people are afraid for change. So there must be some kind of urgency. Right? So either they see or feel the urgency yourself in your organization, or you are an inspiring leader who really can inspire them to come into action. So the first thing is, why should we innovate? Right? If there's no clear reason, people say, well, we'll stay to the old one. But then, to be innovative, people say, how do I do it? What do I do? So we don't know what to do. So that's why I think it's important to have a methodology. It's also important to have a methodology because innovation is not a quick journey. Innovation is a long journey. And for a long journey, you need discipline. So it's not a one or two workshops and then we are innovative. It's a whole journey in transforming new ideas, new insights into business cases, into new products or new digital products. So that's why you need a methodology, first of all, to get the discipline right, and second of all, to be sure that we really get to the end and we really get concrete outcomes. Which is the role of a digital innovation manager? Well, there is a big trap here for the digital innovation manager that is to do it himself. But the question is to get others to do it. So a digital innovation manager should not be managing it, he should facilitate the change, the digital change. By inspiring people, by giving people knowledge, by opening their eyes, by giving them the tools, by giving them the techniques and by supporting people within the company with, with money, with methodologies. So he should be a facilitating manager and not one who really leads it and say you have to do this, 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 this and this. Which is the role of innovation managers in a company to turn into a real and actual innovation? Well, a lot of firms, also in Italy, they have a steering committee and a working committee. Stop with it. It doesn't work in innovation. Why? You do something new. Because if I, as board member, don't know something about blockchain, I'm afraid of it. And I will ask either 100 questions to you, so the project will stop, or I will say no. So the board and the leaders have to be on the innovation team. They have to be connected, because they need to learn also what it really is. And they also must share their ideas. And when they are the godfather of one of the business cases, innovation also becomes part of them. So they should be on the journey and not only in the steering committee. <music>